things you may not know about being a good partner in a relationship coming mm. up your way right here. Mm. That balance between being a partner, being a lover. What does that look like? What are the qualities that you consider yourself to be a good partner? But what about the things that you feel like you could be a better partner with as well? We're going to get into that Mm. and a lot more. Get in. Let's go. What's going on, good people? Welcome back to another episode of Summon Up with the Summoners. It's your boy, Damon and Katoya. We are here, this thing, another episode, ready to get to work right here. Got a hot new episode coming your way here. Things you may maybe didn't know about being a partner in a marriage. Ooh, a little Is spice. Is there a partnership? Ooh. Are we friends? Mm-hmm. Are we homie lover friends? Mm, side to side, face to face, back to back. It's true. We're going to break that down. You're like, what does that even mean? All, all of that thing here goes in to it here but before we dive in we don't do anything else without saying thank you so much yeah for real for, real. for rocking with us here two weeks ago yeah. two weeks ago we put out a replay episode and you know and we're not gonna feel any type of way most listens we had ever had that whole week ever shout out now not saying it all came See, from y'all. that replay episode don't know. but listening. in general folks listening people listening we appreciate y'all we appreciate that and y'all know this our year this our month <sighs> this our two year month. two years Two years. two years out here. It's, it's kind of went by quick. I know, right? I, I like you said it the other day, and I was like, oh, dang, it is two years. It's been two years of us doing this podcast together. Look Christ. at us. Christ. Look at us out here doing Shout two things for two years. Listen, I'm trying to be a new person. New person. We new people. New people out Speaking here. Speaking of, we've also been doing a lot of guest appearances on some shows. We're definitely going to give them a big highlight, just kind of. Yes. A year in review yeah. of all of the wonderful podcasts that we've been uh, mm-hmm. able to be a part of. So mm-hmm. shout out to everyone in that last year that's just let us guest on theirs. Mm-hmm. And, and we're gonna be we're gonna bring a few guests over here. I know. Don't y'all want to hear some other voices? Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry if you don't really want to. Um, I'm down. But no, we definitely do. It's we love fun. to get different perspectives. But you know, people have been like real in sync. So yes. in this moment, I was just thinking about how we need to be like summit of summers. We do it in sync. <laughs> Sum it up. Sum nice. Y'all tell us what you think about that little thing uh, here. I just made that one up. I can do better, but that was the initial. That was just off the dome. That was just yeah, off the dome. Yeah, We are here in the bedroom off the dome. I'm just messing. I That's do it. think that we are in sync in a lot of ways. A lot of um, ways. But she I took d- an energy pill. We feeling good tonight. We feeling good tonight. <laughs> it's the lights, camera, action. Uh, Five minutes before this, y'all know how it goes. It's either know. an argument, somebody's in a bad mood, and then it's like, Three, two, and then we're and we're ready. here. Exactly, we're professionals. Yeah, I just want to give y'all a little banter about that. <laughs> but no, I'm really excited about today and about partnership and what that looks yes. like. Yes, and Ooh, like partnerships. Yeah. yeah, partnerships matter. They do matter. Mm. They do matter. They this do. is a this is a good topic. Like we, I, I this is my suggestion. Yeah, because we deal with this one. a lot. Yes. actually, in yes. our relationship, in a good way, mm-hmm. and then it can also be sometimes in a how do we get out of this way? Yep. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And like, because when you think in partnership, what, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Um, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts? Your thoughts? Well, when I first think of partnership, I definitely think team. I think effort of us working as a team. Yeah. I think when I hear partnership, I, I think duo. Let me be very clear. When I, you think yeah. duo? You think yeah. two people? Yeah. Right? Yeah, a partner. Right? One, yeah, yeah. One to one. Right, right. Um, so that's the first thing. I'm thinking about a team, but specifically with one or more um, similar goals. Okay. Like when you think of a partnership, when you think about, you know, fourth grade, y'all out here have to make the little, have to make the little class project. Mm. All right. Now, John, you're going to be with Susan. Oh, dang. You, you got to get like, this done. Do I want to be with Susan? Uh, I don't want to be or with not. Susan. Ah. Uh, Am I pulling away for Can we Susan? pick our partners? <laughs> no, you can't pick your partners. Can I be with my best friend? <laughs> no, you can't. No, but and you no, have a you goal. you can't in marriage. <laughs> this is your partner. This Susan is, it. is your partner. This is it. And you know your partner's strengths and weaknesses. You know, you know if you're going to have to carry the team or not. You know if you're going to have to carry the team. We'll and get there. When, when and where I you know, have to carry the I team. I know, we're going to get there. So we're that's the first there. thing I think of. What about you no, when you I think, think of partnership? I think really good. I think about two people striving towards something together. Definitely. Bam. Definitely. That is my Webster's Dictionary definition of a marriage or marriage or relational partnership um two people committed to the same goal Mm -hmm. to make something succeed Mm -hmm. and i think partnership just big picture is an important aspect but i think like 
in marriage specifically, when you, when people talk about it, it's not really a word I hear a ton. Mm -hmm. Like there's other words that come to mind. Lover, right, comes to mind. Best friend comes to mind. Mm. True, good, valuable. Yeah. But there's something specific. If you niche down about a partner, right? And I think there's something there's, there's value in having a quality <laughs> partnership in your marriage. Well, you know, I think about songs, and it was just some my partner. <laughs> My pop, I don't know. That. Do I know that? It sounds like it's a I Texas go. underground oh, okay. type of song. I'm about you to search for it. Yeah, search for that. But my partner. Pot. Uh, partner. P O T. Yeah, partner. P O T E N W A. Yeah, but no, I mean, <laughs> it's real. And I, I agree. I think that partnership, you know, doesn't get discussed enough mm -hmm. in a relationship sure. of two people that are intimate. And, you know, people who aren't married generally call each other. Their partners, okay, right? Like okay. that's like a generic term, like mm -hmm. yeah, you know, because you want to elevate from just being girlfriend and boyfriend. Like, Come this on, is my partner, like, okay, lifelong partner, okay. So they were smart. I think that's great. <laughs> if you're one of those, if you're one, you're like, yeah, that is my partner. Yeah. And there's something about being a someone's partner that is a, like a good word to me. Sure. Um, and so let's just talk a little bit more. About let's that. get into it. So off top of the head, boom. If you're, if there's a few attributes, somebody's coming to you, right? Maybe they're about to get newly, uh, they're about to get married, right? They're engaged and that you bring a partnership. What are a few characteristics that comes to mind that makes a quality partner? What comes to mm. mind when you think about, all right, I'm about to say till death do us part. I'm about to walk down this aisle. And or maybe it's the flip. Maybe I've been in it for 22 years. Right. And I'm still, you know, you always were evolving as individuals and collectively. What comes to mind when you think about, man, they are really honestly a good partner. For yeah, me. I really like to take it. The school teacher in me. OK. Is thinking through your fourth grade example. OK. And as a teacher. You know, we used to put pairs up. We do for and different reasons. Yeah, I, yeah, we have this your pair, <laughs> mm -hmm. this your partner for this. Mm -hmm. You know, they gonna be better like this. Mm -hmm. So, and I think kind of through that, like you want to know that someone that you can depend on. Okay, dependability. So dependable. Yeah. Someone who uh, takes quality feedback. <laughs> mm. Come on, how about that? Some for me, I always want a partner that's fun. Because uh, fun is just an element of everything I want to do. Sure. Like I. Sure. I, I could have fun at a funeral. I actually want to have fun at a funeral. Yeah, like it's supposed to be a celebration, right? Oh, so uh, unless maybe maybe it ain't maybe maybe it wasn't a good. It doesn't matter. You still celebrate always? their life always. Always celebrate life. Always. Huh? The sadness of the huh. the funeral is well, accurate. You, I told you how my funeral gonna be. Dracarys. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> We're literally watching Blanks. Game of Thrones, the new season Blanks. yesterday. Yeah, that's how I want to go. That's it. What? Throw a anyway, couple of arrows not... <laughs> into the ocean. <laughs> And just let me sink into the Atlantic. That sounds miserable. Yeah, what? Okay. okay. All right, we're going to that. Is, that. Okay, but oh. one more side note <laughs> is that global warming is real and yes. lakes have been, oceans and yes. lakes and stuff have been drying up. This is true. And they've been discovering stuff. They're going to be done discovering your burn up body they that you want. 25, 28. 25, 28. Go find me. Looks like he was, he died uh, by fire. Go find me in some, <laughs> some Air Force Ones. Okay. Uh, that, moving on. <laughs> moving on. You want. <laughs> Someone that's dependable. Yes. You want someone that is. Um, what was the second term I said? Mm, I don't remember. I don't. Uh, you, you want yeah. dependable? I said. I said fun. Yes. I said you did everything say fun. should be fun. Yeah, that's okay. how we started. That's fair. Okay. And then I said another third one. Y'all are listening. Y'all run it back. <laughs> um, dependability, fun, reliable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, someone that takes um, feedback. Oh yes, yes, yes. That was really important. Those are good. And uh, those are good. Somebody, when I think about partner, mm. someone that's considerate, like yeah, like a, a balance of consideration, yeah. like understanding. Mm. I'm gonna just list those four. Those are good. Let me those run it good. back again for clarity. Yeah, one more time. Dependability. Boom. Fun. Can take feedback. Feedback. Fun. Yeah. And Ooh. understanding. Yeah. That's good. Okay. I want y'all to know that most of the things that we come up with, if they sound really good, they are right now. I yes, just came up with those. I could be quality. missing a couple of facts. Of course. Those are but bunch. Those that's are a bunch. Four but those that are I'm four. solid with right yeah. now on top. Definitely, for sure. What and we, I, I mean, I, I kudos to all of that. The only thing I would really kind of add apart from that, because that was, you know, being able to take the feedback, the fun, the considerate, the dependability. Those are all crucial things. When you talk about a good partnership, if there was something else I think that I would add in there is when you talk about a good partner, um, it's somebody who is going to push you. 
Okay. Because I was going to do something about work ethic. Like, okay. like somebody that just, yeah, let's go. Yeah, like for their sales, yeah. but also for you as well. Like when yeah. you got a good partner, like like work project, school project, relationship, best friend, whatever the case may be, when you got you a good partner, right? Katrina and I, we have this this running joke for the last several years that, you know, we're like, we're going to do Amazing Race once, right? Oh, it'll be so good. And that, you want to talk about partnership? Yeah, we're going to struggle real hard, but like, we going to do need, it. I need her to push me. I'm going to push her, right? And now, for real, practicality, chasing dreams out here, having ambitions, we're pushing each other. Yeah, I shout want to, to give up today. Come on, shout out to September 1st. <laughs> like, we out here, like, pushing each other with ambitions and with goals, right? So that's another thing that came to mind when nah, I think about what makes good. a quality. That's partner. real good. That's good. Yeah. And I didn't mean to leave that out. I just think I that like you can. It is really important mm-hmm. that somebody has some drive to do something yes. and willing to push each other. So I, I think those those are solid. And and you really can flip those right on the head and go the opposite way of the other characteristics you don't want in a partner. Mm. Someone who ain't pushing you. Somebody who ain't who ain't pushing their sales. That work ethic. Someone low, who's defensive. Inge- yeah. Like and can't, yeah. So can't those take are, nothing. That's it. And. These are good things to think about. Like, are you like one? You think about what those qualities are and that you want in a partner. Yeah. Forget if you in a relationship, not in a relationship. Right now. Right now. Like I just said. Where you at? Fourth grade. You setting up two partners. Boom. <laughs> what should you be looking for in these partners? And it's that thing. Like, if I, I want a partner that will, and then you also think about what you asking for and mm-hmm. seeing if you are also a giver of the same yes. things but now one thing that's interesting about partnerships okay. is that there's all there can often be mm-hmm. a we're, we're not complete people no we're not complete people so sometimes that. we search for in a partner areas of deficit oh okay okay and so you know yeah yeah maybe your partner has better strong or stronger sure. qualities in some areas yeah. Um, and vice versa for, you know, each other. Yeah. And so how do we kind of sit with, mm. cause my question is, as we're looking at describing our partner, mm-hmm. w- w- what are some ways, what are some areas that you might want um, your partner to compliment you? Sure, sure. Complimentary angles. Complimentary angles. That's a big thing. You know, I mean, that, that really comes in to play when you think about one reason you're going back to the, we're going to keep the teacher analogy going here because I think it plays out because we've all have been in school all the way through college if you went to college, et cetera. But in school, you've had to be in partnerships and teachers will put you together for different reasons. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, this project specifically, I know that they're going to be dope at this yeah. and they're going to be dope at that and this is going to bring about a great partnership, right, right? right? And so those things go into, when you're talking about a relational aspect, when you go talk about being in a man, marriage long term you know you know like you said you're not a perfect person so the ability to be able to rely and trust someone's leadership Mm. or experience Mm. in this area is a big piece to try to go long term it's right if you come into the marriage and you have sucked for years respectfully with money you you may not want somebody else who's sucking that money as well right that just may be a thing to consider yeah yeah I think it's good. And I, I the reason why I love this little aspect is because when I say, hey, think about what you want in a partner, it's easy for us to say what we want. Yeah. But we also need to realize what we bring Ooh, to the table in a partnership right there. and our shortcomings in some of the partnerships. Because then that's where we can come to our partner and say, hey, <laughs> this ain't my area. Ugh. And the humility that one must have in order to admit to the shortcoming. Put that on the trait. Put that on the characteristic trait. Yeah. Humility. Yeah. Put that it, on the trait. It is true. Put it's a hard on. one. I mean, yeah. because, you know, like, for, let's take money again. Let's take you money. Know, you, know, you know your money management isn't the best. Mm-hmm. So you need to have someone stronger in this area, even if it's marginally, even right? Even if it's marginally. Just somebody a little bit better than you so that you can balance that out and you be willing to let that person lead out. And now if neither one of y'all are great, it's time for you both to do a course. <laughs> it's time for you both to work together. It is time to put in the effort together because that's true too. We've said multiple times, Damon and Katori are not great gift givers. So we have to... Shout out to Liv Eden. She's a good gift giver. Good gift giver. We have a child in our family that's going to hold us accountable to doing better gift with gifts. Giver. She came. There's a little blessing in that way. But like things like that, you know, where you're actively trying to pursue growth. Mm-hmm. If it's not a strength for one person more than it is the mm-hmm. other, but the humility to lay it down mm-hmm. and say, yo, this is not my strength. Sure. 
And this kind of like echoes roles a little bit to me in some ways when you start thinking in some about ways, yeah. how to balance each other sure. out. But for the sake of this podcast, really speaking on like complimenting each other in the areas of strengths and weaknesses to create your best partnership of two people working together towards success. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, I think when I, when I think about partnerships, I think about also this aspect of, I think there's re- the reality is really the internal part of it too. Like, cause it's very easy to just think about your partner or your future partner or the person you've been with for years and be like what they're doing. Not so well. And I think you got to keep looking at yourself. You know, these, a lot of these episodes will kind of share, you know, insights just based off of our experiences. You know, we're no experts here. Um, and a lot of times you got to do that inner work first, right? Because when we first started just going and just talking about us for a second here, when, you know, Katoya, if you don't know, uh, Katoya is my only girlfriend. Okay. And so... They watch it, what you say. Uh, <laughs> and, and with that, you know, when you first get into a relationship at a young age in general, or maybe you got into a relationship older and you still had lack of experience right you come with some deficiencies about a relationship no matter when you're getting in you're coming in with deficiencies right if you don't look at it like that absolutely you are failing your relationship and so you know in a partnership you know you really learn about yourself right and how you love and how you care for people and then how how you you kind of are going back to that feedback for a second right here's the thing when Katoya when I first started dating she really pushed me and real I realized I was not a verbal dude right I guess in my in my in my friends and in my my family it felt okay but when she was like hey big dog I'm gonna need I'm gonna need more words I'm gonna need more words of affirmation I'm gonna need a couple more compliments and I was like oh I Oh, I guess I don't use enough words at all. And so I wanted to try to be a better partner, care for her as a better, you know what I'm saying, as a better person in this relationship. And it wasn't the easiest. And we've been together, we've been married for 14 years. And I feel like for the better half, right, it's it's definitely gotten better than you like at the first seven years, right? But it was a journey as a partner to be like, all right, I gotta take this, receive this, see where I'm struggling at, and level up because yeah, that was one thing I remember. I was just like, because it was a weird, it was an interesting thing to be like, I don't, I don't use enough words for her, and then I especially don't use enough words that like uplift, encourage, or flatter her. It was really. Do you remember? Do you remember that phase of our, our relationship? Yeah, no. Oh, okay, I didn't want to make sure. I didn't want to make sure because I was over there like, I was like, this is so strange. Do you I want me talk. or not? Because. I gotta talk somebody more. Somebody else just told me all kind of things, and I just met them. <laughs> <laughs> all type of things. I'm with you all day. I don't understand. I was like, I just, what words am I using? Yeah, I was using weird. all the other words. If there was a Venn diagram of practical words, <laughs> flattery words, and words in the middle, it was like one thing in the middle. I that just Venn diagram. To be loved. Just it verbally, <laughs> verbally. <laughs> Touch too. Touch. Oh yeah, that was the other two. But the other three. The other. The other yeah, I three. I know. It's okay. It's the right. other yeah. three. I was crushing the other three. Yes. Boy. No, you're great. I mean, gifts. and that's the way it is, right? Like I'm sure <laughs> you've made me better in so many ways. I mean, just Damon is a drive person, you know, and consistent, and a, a rule follower, and a getting things done makes him happy. Like I do like production. Yeah, I, do I like know, and I'm like. I do too, but yep. it didn't happen today. Yeah. So tomorrow. <laughs> it happened. It no, not today in general, like oh, specifically, yes. but just like, <laughs> all right, slide it out to tomorrow. And then yeah. I'm looking up, it was like three weeks later. Yeah. So, you know, there's just so many ways. And I think over the years of mm. our relationship that we've understood those things. Mm. And I do think we're still growing. I said we. Come on now. We're still growing and receiving some of those and things pronouns. from the other's perspective yeah, um, for in sure. certain areas. But for, but we've grown so much, mm-hmm. you know. And, you know, we just recently had this discussion about confrontation mm. and, uh, like, kind of how we approach this, like, willingness to this space mm-hmm. to have confrontation. Sure. I'm not a big person who wants to have confrontation. I'm okay with it. And... I believe that you should value it if I give it to you because that means it's worth something in mm. this relationship to bring up. Sure. But also, I can't sit in discomfort, so I have to discuss it with understanding that it might be confrontational. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, it's all right to grow in that area. Damon wasn't really trying to come at me 
No. Because there would be confrontation. Yeah. But I'm like, well, I can't sit here. Mm -hmm. So together we pushed each other to kind of have more openness. And Mm so no matter where you are in this partnership in your relationship, be willing to grow, willing to adjust, willing to adapt, willing to say it directly and willing to let some things grow into an understanding. Mm. Because I think after years, you you understand each other, whether you like the way they perceive you or not. There is an understanding, but there shouldn't be only this expectation or doubt like, oh, you're going to do it this way. Mm. But there is this like, all right. Mm. Where we, you at on this? We on a journey. Yeah. It's a journey. Yeah. Right? Because oh. we're partners. At the end of the day, we're working toward the same thing. So if it's not working for you, it's not working for us. Mm. And so how do we come together to make this work better for you so that it can work better for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Uh, a couple of things before we get out of here. Uh, one... Do you think it's possible? And let us know what you think here. If you're not following us on Instagram, that's where the conversation I is going to pick back up. Is that a song too? No, no, I'm just okay. making more right There's melodies. Um, can a relationship sustain with health but struggle with partnership? Can you have a poor partnership in a relationship and it continue to be thriving? You know, because you're talking about there's different aspects of a relationship, right? There's 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 different aspects. We know you got different hats on. But if you if you got if you got one, if there's one bad partner, let alone two bad partners, do you think th- that relationship can hypothetically thrive for the distance? So our daughter's in first grade, and daughter's she's in? our youngest uh, daughter. Yeah, our youngest daughter yep. in first grade, and our school is great. Yeah. But one thing that they <laughs> they teach them is to have a growth mindset. Mm. So all the last couple of weeks, she's just been like, "Ooh, I'm working on my growth mindset." Mm-hmm. I'm taking a deep breath. I know I can do it. Mm-hmm. And like she just literally has like been talking herself into it. And so what I, I say that to say that it's about having a growth mindset. So I believe if we were to categorize 10 areas of a relationship. Okay. You're right. Let's, you want them all at 100%. Sure. You want them. <laughs> okay. You're a human. <laughs> not going to happen. Not going to happen. And I think in different seasons and different times of your life, some areas will be higher than others. Yeah. So. I do believe that a relationship can function with a, um, a off partnership, Mm. but just as well as any other of the nine things that I would say, whether that be intimacy, trust, Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. you know, a variety of other aspects you would set as a like functioning, you know, healthy relationship it would need to have a growth mindset to improve, mm-hmm. right? So you can't stay there for long with the deficiency of your partnership. Mm. You're not each other's enemy. You're on the same team. You're working together to succeed. If you stay there too long, I do believe that partnership is a key component Crucial. of a relationship. Crucial. So therefore, if it stays there too long, which I don't know what too long is, because it's how it operates in your family right, it's how right. it feels and right. the dynamic um but it it will become challenging or you know um you know non-existent for you all because it's key yeah. or miserable Oof. people could be not good partners and stay Oof. in it and be miserable that's true but fun is top for me so i can't be miserable <laughs> <No>. <laughs> No. so something gotta change we gotta figure something out so my answer is it it's, can function, it's a but journey. It, sh- it should grow. Yeah, yeah. I That's hear you. I respect answer. it. Before we get out of here, you brought up before we started recording here, I want to talk about that for a moment, the balancing aspect, right, with intimacy and the partnership. Kind of, I thought it was an interesting perspective. If you just kind of share kind of why that is important of having this balancing in Are it. you interviewing me? No, I, I thought it was a dope. <laughs> I wanted to bring it up because I wanted no, to have a conversation about it. I think it's, it's, I, I, this was my topic, and uh-huh. this is important. Um, yeah. Like, I, I did, you know, I brought it up. Yeah. But, and I think about this because a lot of times, me and Dame, me and Damon are excellent partners. We are great partners. You got to toot your own horn. <laughs> I've been tooting a little bit. Too, no, but no. we are. But sometimes we're too much, Ooh. and it's like, whoa, bro. <laughs> Literally, bro. <laughs> I also love you, <laughs> and I like am Brody. your wife, Ooh. and I am your husband. You know, like we we can miss intimacy we're working in the boardroom so efficiently. And I'm like, all right, this okay. too efficient. Okay. I'm wearing a power suit. Let's, right. let's settle right. down. So, Touch therefore, my thighs, please. if we had a 10, mm. 
if we had our 10 meter, our intimacy level would be lower, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But the partnership would be thriving. Heavy. But and that's what we mean when we say working side by side. Yeah. So side by side is right here. We're right existing. Here. Get we're walking. Things done. And sometimes Bills we back are paid. to back. I ain't and seeing you. Just, you. Yeah, yeah. We you in a just, spat. Exactly. Get off me. But what you want to be is kind of the forward. Face to face. No, no. Yeah, oh. I mean. Yeah, we just came up with them, really. <laughs> some thugs. But that's the idea. And so, you know, I'm like, yo, I miss you. I need you. I love you. Let's. Let's tap out of all these responsibilities and things we need to do. Because the remember, he is the most efficient person in this relationship. Like, he going to get stuff done. He throws a productivity. All of that is, like, number one. Like, if he would have listed his characteristics first, that would have been the number one thing. I accidentally left that part out <laughs> like on my list. I'm like, fun open talk <laughs> trust because those are really important those are good to me. those but are crucial I understand moving forward is too so that is a and and, and he does too right yes, yep. so it's just sometimes one thing can be a little bit more elevated sure. and i do take a lead and i take a i allow him to lead out in a lot of that because he's going to lead out in productivity and i want to be productive so i will follow that but then i'm also a reminder because that's high for me is to be like, yo, mm -hmm. we doing too much. Hey, so a lot gotta, of, I gotta hey, come in here. A lot of budget talk. So there's a balance, and a it's important budget. to identify what that is in your own relationship. Yeah, I mean, you gotta come in and just push people on the bed. Yeah, throw me. Sometimes throw me. Get thrown. <laughs> <laughs> Throw somebody. I'm ready to be thrown. Y'all ready? Come on, Let's man. Wrap this up. Throw somebody. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you got anything to add to my balance? No, I think it's really, I think it's really a good because you know, and I'm gonna give. A, we have children, so I'm gonna speak from that perspective. Whether you have it or not, you know, is is a lot when you're in a relationship and it's juggling. Ugh. As an adult, you're juggling. Whether you have zero kids, four pets, eight plants, two children, whatever, you're taking oh, care you. of a, a adult. You know, what I'm saying a senior citizen. Whatever the case, we're juggling a lot out here in the streets. And so when you're in a relationship and you're juggling, it gets a lot of side by side, right? Picking things up, the commute, you're trying to hang out with friends, you're going to church, you're going to the gym. It's just like, woo, okay. All right, we took out the trash, we had dinner, we sat down, friends are coming over, we got a motor. Like it just, it gets that way. And so in that partnership, there is this responsibility and awareness that's necessary to fight for that, that, that lover to pop back up more right that you know to have that intimacy emotionally and physically as well so i think that's just another reality of partnership in there absolutely yeah yeah you're, you're right emotional money yeah. physical yeah. intimacy all those things you know because you know that emotional piece ain't just about tears a great laugh oh, no. oh yeah just talking. laughs ambitious talks yeah there are times when i'm just talking i'm like dang i'm talking a lot but i guess i need that we were talking us. a couple of days ago in the bed <laughs> to like one and we were just talking but it was good it was just connection yeah you know what i mean it was just connection so it wasn't about work it wasn't about children's schedules we woke up the other morning we talking. did <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it was it was just like we did right it was like, like 5 30 it was too early we both so, realized we had woke up too and it was early like, dang why are we up what? so early and we just, and come we just back, start talking just start talking and then that's found into so much more That's and so it, you just let the moment take there you go. your partners your lovers Come you want on. as much balance, balance in these areas as you can if you realize one of your key components in your successful relationship is at a low you reevaluate and you push for, toward improving that area there it is yeah you was gonna say something before we get out of here i was gonna were. say I, I just recently saw this post and it oh. said that god dog mm -mm. It said, plants and pets mm. are the new kids. Plants and pets are the new kids. Yes. And then they said, well, then what's kids? Uh-huh. They like, they exotic. <laughs> exotic. It's like having an exotic animal. Mm. Is having a kid. So we got three tigers. We got three tigers. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, we want. Oh, we got a pet. We got a plant. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got a kid. Oh, you got like oh, an exotic you have, oh, animal in you your got home. A monkey. You have three. What? You have a sea lion. <laughs> I'm just trying to take care of my pet, my plant. I'm just trying to keep these two plants I alive. That was so funny. I was like, yeah, I got exotic animals. That's, That's about what they are. Like, oh yeah, Hilarious. I got a pet. I got a pet. Anyway, a side note. Uh, but. Y'all, I hope that you got something good from it. You know how we roll over here. You listen. You take in what you want. Our 
primary goal is for it to stimulate a uh, conversation within your own relationship. Mm-hmm. So if it's doing that, we're doing our job. Bang. And uh, we appreciate you. And uh, y'all have a good night. There it or is. morning. Sorry. <laughs> it's night for me. We'll check with y'all next time. Talk soon.